Hey. All right, the reason it's dark down here is we cut the power because we had to kill the box because we're running some conduit, right? And so in this segment, we're gonna talk about a number of tools. We're gonna talk about a uh, hole saw that we used to tap the top of the box so we could put the conduit in. Also, speaking of conduit, we had to bend it, we had to cut it, we had to ream it with a power tool attachment. We also had to uh, pull a little bit of wire through it and in order to do that, we had to use not only the fish tape, but also some awesome spray foam lubricant that I had all over my hands and yet can't feel it now, can't see it now. It's almost like it's magic. So a lot of great information coming down the pipe in this segment, this edition of Barnaby at Home. going to now run some conduit out of the panel here. But a few things that I have to be very careful of is that you're dealing with live power. So the first thing we need to do is, as you can see, we've turned the mains off right here, mm -hmm. so none of the circuitry is live. Okay. Then we take a piece of cardboard, because we're going to be drilling a hole right up in here. Yep. That way when it comes through, the filings don't fall into here, creating a possibility of a fault. We'll put a connector in here immediately, mm -hmm. we'll tighten that down, and then we'll start running our conduit out. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to bend the pipe. We need a, an eight and a half inch 90. Mm -hmm. So the take up on half inch is five inches. So I deduct that from my eight and a half and I mark the pipe at three and a half inches. This is where the star, not the star mark, but the arrow mark, this mark here is going to line with this mark right here. You're there! Alright! Ta-da! What I'm doing here, we're going to be pulling in two networks. So I'm actually marking the first network, putting tape on it, so that we know the two networks at one end and the other. Now, you according, according to what you got in here, it's a half inch pipe, you should hold it approximately one second. Really? That's all you need. So go ahead and give it a there start. Uno! That's it. That's all. That's all you need to do. I mean, as fast as he can pull it, it just slides right in. Whoever invented that spray foam lubricant deserves a pay raise. One thing that's awesome about this stuff, Barnaby, in the years have gone by, you'd have to have rags laying around and it's a lot of cleanup. Right. A lot of times, stain stuff makes a mess. Mm -hmm. This does not stain. As you can see, my shirt's dry already. Yep. And this is just a little bit of pulling off of here, a little wiping in here, and that's it. You can put number tags on here, and you can just lay these wires on, in there without any fear of any wax or anything else dripping anywhere. As contrasted with the bucket o lube that everybody had to use before, where you take a handful and you slide it and slide it and slide Absolutely. it. It's everywhere, right? Yep.